I don't really do film reviews or talk about films unless they're based on books or book related in any way but I'm going to make an exception and the reason for that is that on Friday I went to see the new Norwegian fantasy horror thr thriller flick um, called Tala uh, and I, I feel so strongly about talking about this film because I'm surely I hope so strongly that it will be released in other countries um, it is a horror film or fantasy horror thriller um, the genre is kind of vague <laughs> but it's really good there's not a lot of gore but it's quite exciting I also really really like that it's kind of original it, it um, uses a, a part of Norwegian folklore that hasn't been used a lot in films at least not in modern films and in films like set today this kind of films, it's not very used very much, and it's about Huldra or the Huldr, um, which is a creature very familiar to Norwegians. It's it's a very strong uh, the the Huldr, Huldr myth in Norwegian folk folklore is quite strong. So if you're Norwegian, this is something you would know about, and. I think that if you watch the film and you don't know about this myth, uh, you might not actually catch as much of it. So I'm hoping that I can tell a little bit, bit about this myth and then about the film as well. So. The Hulde, um, if you look it up on Wikipedia, Wikipedia, it, it will be uh, sorted under Huldra for some reason. Uh, 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 Hulder is like the singular and then you have the, yeah. Anyhow, um, it's, it's, as I said, very strong uh, Norwegian myth. And she is supposed to be a really, really beautiful Norwegian woman. And she has long hair and really beautiful and she's got this really beautiful singing voice and she uses her song by enthralling especially men into her trap. And the only way you can see that she's not a human being is that unlike other women she has a tail. So that, that's kind of, you have to look for the tail if, if she's trying to ensnare you. Is that what you say, ensnare? Or get you into her trap. And she lives in the woods and she's female and she sings beautifully and she's beautiful. So there's a whole lots and lots of different myths about the Hulud and I even know people today who believe she actually exists. It's like trolls and uh, the mm, Norwegian gnomes, the Nisid. Uh, they're all part of this year, Norwegian folklore, and it, it's 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 well known. It's, you get um, you get to know them through through uh, fairy tales and myths, and you kind of grow up with them if you're Norwegian. So that's that. I know a little bit about Norwegian folklore. Um, as for the film, it's pretty much present day, it's today, and you meet two, oh, crime scene cleaners, is that what you call them? There's uh, these two guys who cleans up at the crime scenes, um, and it's kind of funny because one of them is, he's, doesn't really have a strong stomach, so to say. Um, however, uh, where they are in the middle of nowhere in the north of Norway and they are cleaning up this crime scene um, quite in the middle of nowhere uh, and it's the cabin and it's an elderly man who died here died there and it's got quite a lot of blood and while they're actually lo looking around for more body parts uh, they, they come across a secret door to a hidden cellar and in this cellar they they find a secret 
they find something they would not believe they could find there, that they would not believe they found, find there. And this is, I don't need to say this, it's Tala, which is maybe a hundred, that's what they think. Not, not at once, but after a while. And there's a lot of things, other things going on. Uh, the dialogue isn't, there's not a lot of dialogue, there's a lot of, uh, they, 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 the dialogue that they have is very short, very concise. And there's also a lot of things not being said, which I really, really like. There's a lot of uh, things you have to think. You have to kind of guess a lot of hidden meaning or not really hidden, but there's a lot in between the lines that you have to think, you have to use your brain. And it's, I, I really think it's like an intelligent film. And I really, really enjoyed it. it I, I even jumped a few times in, in my, <laughs> when I was watching it. It was, it was really good. And it's the, the way it's filmed, um, it's really nice as well. And I'm, I'm quite surprised because it is a low, low budget film. As far as I know, it's quite low budget, but that was not something I kind of thought about when I was watching it, that, oh, this is low budget, you can see that it's so low budget, but because it's so well made, I I really enjoyed it. It might not be like a whole lot of of, um, of different, different, you know, stuff, but um, uh, film tricks or whatever you want to call it. Um, Oh, words escapes me today. I'm I'm tired, but uh, it's not a whole lot. But it's it's the one it's 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 not that bad, and I really enjoyed it. And if you're a horror fan, and if especially if you're a um, fan of Norwegian horror, you I think this would be right up your alley. Uh, I know about a couple of people on YouTube that would I would highly recommend this film to. So I think I've actually recommended to you already. Some of you know who you are. Uh, but yeah, so so highly recommend this brilliant film. I loved it to bits and I hope to see it again and I will definitely get it on either DVD or Blu-ray. So until next time, bye!